Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Lee Jo. I'm so glad that you kicked, you clicked on the video and I hope that you enjoy the swatches that I'll be doing for you today. This channel is primarily for lip swatches. Um, I don't do like makeup reviews. Um, I might say a little blurb about makeup that I've, I've just started. I've just tried or something like that or if I tried a new technique or something but I, that's not my lane. But I love lip glosses and I love lipsticks, so that's that's me. That's my lane. Hi. So if you like swatches, lipstick stuff, if you are full lippage hearty like myself, mm -hmm. if you about that life, if you are sporting your ancestral features, what's good? All right, so let's do um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's what I have. This is the, these are the glosses, the new glosses that they just dropped. They look really nice. I don't know if they're going to just come out clear on me. I don't think they're going to have like a lot of payoff, but I like glitter. And when I saw glitter, I was like, who not going to swatch it? <laughs> oh, I'm going to swatch it. So since it was Anastasia Beverly Hills, I put the latest palette that I purchased from them on my eye. I really like this palette. It's the Amrezi. Am I saying that right? This palette right here. This came out a couple of months ago. A couple of um, months ago. And I really like it. So that's what I put on my eye to match what I'm putting on my lips. So I could, you know, I could do brighter colors and stuff like that. But when I'm doing lip swatches, because I'm just doing lip swatches, I'm trying not to put too much on my eye because it becomes distracting. But this blue was calling me. And so I answered. I was like, distract away, blue. Distract away. <laughs> so on my lid, I have this. Um, What's the name? Oh, did I do that? Yes. 1988. I have that all on my lid, blended out, right? And then I use this black. That's a beautiful black. Very nice black. BK, I use this to deepen, you know, right here, my outer corner, I believe it's saying. I'm, I'm getting the terminology, the outer corner right here. And then for my inner corner, I use this puppy right here. This is called Barb. I love Barb. I use that on my inner corner. And on my lid, I use this gold called Dragon. And of course, my lower... Let me put that down so y'all can't clock me. <laughs> my lower lid, that's what's right here, Leo. So... This is there. And that's it. The liquid eyeliner that I use is Stila. All of the stuff on my face is pretty much Fenty and Morphe bronzer. The highlighter, oh my beauty. Woo. Oh yeah, I'm going to do um, all the Uma Beauty lipsticks that I have. I might actually just go ahead and do that after I do this video. Um, because they have a sale that actually ends this Sunday. Yes, the sale ends this Sunday. It's 80, 80% 80 off. Yeah, I had to sign that. 80% off. Wow. I went ahead and I got their foundation. I've never used any of their foundation, but I wanted to. So I got their foundation and their concealer. Although Mama Pet just dropped that concealer on my life. And whoo, that Pat McGrath's concealer. Anyway, I'm not going to continue on. Let's get into the swatches. The first gloss is called Nude. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Anyway, it's Nude. It's spelled N-O-O-D, Nude. I don't know if these are going to become a permanent part of their collection or if they are a permanent part of their um, glosses. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. But this is the set that came... Um, with the new release. I don't think that they are 
um, glosses that they already have. Show is milky. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I actually like this. Even though, yes, you will add a liner here. It actually doesn't look that bad without. Hmm, maybe it does. And they do build up. Hmm. Oh, I like this texture though. This is Nude by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Hmm. I do like this texture. I mean, you could. Uh, I've seen this one without liner. And actually, I'm not opposed to doing it myself. It, it could be a look. Y'all know. And it matches my, my little outfit. Comment below if you would wear it with a liner or would you use a liner? What like what complexion are you? Like are you my tone or lighter or darker? Would you rock this without a liner? I think I would. I'm not I'm not opposed to it actually. This is nude. Okay. Okay, so this is nude by Anastasia Beverly Hill Beverly Hills. And I put I added the B I'm sorry. Ugh. BFF3 liner by ColourPop. I added that to the outside of my lip. So there's your liner, liner for all you liner lovers. <laughs> I like it both ways as usual. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like it both ways. This does um, actually make the lip gloss pop more though, but I like the um, opacity of it. It's, it's not a clear like I thought it would be. And it's milky, which is what I wanted it to be. So that's nice. This is with the BF the BFF3 liner by ColourPop. Nude. I like this. The next color is Bella. This is... A little more peachy than the um oh wait what was the other yeah this is a little um I, I think more pinky than the other one maybe I should do a swatch so that you guys can see it see this one is more pinky this is Bella and I'll go back because I didn't swatch the other one. I totally forgot about that. Sorry. Nude. So that's the difference in the two. This is definitely the pinkier. See, Bella. And then this is the one I swatched first. That is Nude by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, let's see what Bella is doing. Oh, huh, yeah. I like Bella. It's like the color of my lip. Oh, the pink part of my lip, kind of, sort of. See? And I can kind of cheat the liner thing. I really don't mind using liners, but I don't always use the liners. That's all, guys. I don't have a problem with them. I actually like them sometimes. But I can also cheat them because, you know, my lips are naturally pigmented around the, the um, outer parts of my lips. And then the center is pink anyway like that. But this kind of like adds the 
the pink to my top lip. I like this. This is Bella by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Very smooth glosses. Uh, I really like them. They're comfortable. I would like them to be shinier because I like shiny things. I like glosses like that. But this is still pretty. What do you guys think? Need a liner? Don't need a liner? I like it. Bella. She's the Bella of the ball. Or is it it's Bella of the ball? Anyway. So this is Bella. I actually like this with the liner. This particular liner is by Milk Cosmetics. And this is in the shade French Kiss. French Kiss. This is a beautiful liner with Bella. Very nice. I like this because it's a little bit of uh, red in it, which makes that pink pop some more. Just a little bit more. But it's actually like a brown color liner. I like this liner. See how it's a little hint of I guess red, but it's primarily brown. This is nice. Yeah. Come on, pouty gloss lips. <laughs> the next color is peachy. I don't think this is focusing. Please focus. I'm sorry. It's Peachy, but it has three Y's. It's spelled peachy. Peachy it has like three Y's. <laughs> and I could swatch this for you too. That's from that liner. That liner was not trying to come off. I like Melt um, Cosmetics liners. Those are nice. So what is that pulling? Like a gold? Is that gold? Yeah, it's gold. Kind of this is probably just going to end up being just a clear type of look on me. That's okay. You can never have enough lip gloss toppers. Never enough. I layer my glosses up so um, even if they may not be meant to show a lot of color by the time I'm done with them the color shows even if they don't have real color like yeah that's how I do my glosses I'm, I'm just gonna add some more because I can So this would be a nice topper for something. This is after many layers, as y'all just saw. But this is the way I would wear it. Because I want it to show like that. See how you can see that, that glitter popping through a little bit? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're going to wear gloss with glitter in it, like, why put a slight shimmer in something and I can't see it? I don't want a slight shimmer. No, no, no. I want full-blown shimmer. Like, I want to shimmer people's eyes out. But this is Peachy by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Peachy matches with my highlighter. You see this highlight? This is Uma Beauty highlighter, y'all. Shining bright like a diamond. I know something, something. I don't know the words. We're happy, you and I. We're like Uma Beauty highlight. 
yeah but anyway pretty peachy peachy the final gloss is sparkle lava i'm not even gonna bother to try to focus it it's called sparkle lava this is the last gloss in this set i have one more gloss that wasn't included in this set that i will be swatching and that one's more opaque and it's called saint tropez so i will swatch that after this but this one is sparkle lava so yeah this is just another like topper type gloss it's not it doesn't show up like the first two glosses that i swatched but it's really pretty nice and glittery i do like that i see multi glitter colors that's nice yeah so i mean it ends up being a clear on me the glitters in this one in um sparkle lava are chunkier than peachy But like I said, I'm about that life. Just adding more. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> you better add some more too. I hope y'all had a good week. So yeah, it just ends up being a really pretty clear color. So this is several layers of sparkle lava. Ooh, sparkle lava. Come on, lava. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I like this one too. Very nice sparkle lava. You can even use this, you know, for that glossy eyelid look that people do. Is that still in? I don't know if that's in. I've never tried it because my eyelids naturally get glossy by the end of the day. But you can even add that as, um, you know, to do that type of look. The glossy eyelid look. Sparkle lava by Anastasia. Beverly Hills. The last gloss I'm gonna swatch is Saint Tropez. I don't know why I'm having a hard time focusing this. Anyway, Saint Tropez. This is a pretty color. Ooh. Yeah, see this one is more opaque. smells real good the first two colors that I swatched are um they have a vanilla scent to them but the last two glittery um colors I don't think they had a scent to them let me see I don't think maybe it did oh yeah they all have a vanilla scent to them I'm sorry this one smells like something something else it smells yummy though I like Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. This is really pretty. Look at the gold. Excuse me. Oh, this looks really nice on my skin tone, too. Oh. I'm going to put a little bit more. Stop judging people that use a lot of gloss. I Look, y'all need to stop judging people. These are quarantine gloss lips. 
This looks nice with this eye look too. Saint Tropez by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of this video. I added a little bit of sparkle lava on top of Saint Tropez. And am I saying, is it right? St. Tropez or is it Tropez? Yeah, St. Tropez. This is nice. I didn't need more glitter. It was already very nice on its own. I just did it because I wanted to. But yeah, these glosses are really nice. The first two have a good color payoff, which I liked. Um, you guys might not like that milky kind of look if you're a darker skin tone like me, but I like it. I like it sometimes. You can dab it in the center of your lip and then, like I said, just blot it out to the outer corner of your lip if you have pigmented lips, and then you don't have to worry about wearing the liner. You can even top it with that um, glass, slip, glass slipper Fenty gloss because I like my glosses really, really glossy. Glossy, glossy. Flossy glossy. I like to shine. So you can do that. Um, but by themselves, they're beautiful. I love the texture. I ordered more glosses from Anastasia's website, but they haven't arrived yet. You know, everything is delayed with everything that's going on with um corona. So um I haven't I didn't get a chance to swatch those for you, but I got girly. I purchased I purchased girly and maple so i'll just post those up on my instagram and uh, make sure you guys follow me on instagram too it's the same name lejo underscore lip swatches and um i'll post a picture of those once they arrive my next video is hopefully um going to be something that you guys enjoy it's nothing new but it is um something that I like and it's my favorite collection from ColourPop. So I'll be posting that this weekend and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I'll also be doing a Uma Beauty uh, video again, showing all the lipsticks that I have from Uma Beauty. Actually, I'll probably do that before I do the ColourPop video because that sale, the 80% off sale ends this Sunday. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably have to do that for you guys tomorrow so that you can kind of see what they have. They had some of their, I think their lipsticks were like $9. The the um They have everything on sale. Let me see really quick. Um, But it's really nice. If you, if you don't have their lipsticks, I would recommend that if you're in a buying situation right now. Um, You know, I myself am not really in a buying situation. <laughs> But, um, you know, not, not pushing anything at all, but I just thought it was worth mentioning that it's a great sale going on. And so if you like Uma Beauty and you, you want some of their makeup or you've been curious about them, this is the time to get it at 80% off. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Their lipstick, anyway, everything's 80% off and their lipsticks are really, really cheap. So that's the end of this video. And thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please come back and see me. I really um, appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so, so much for watching these videos. And I'm just going to get better. I'm still getting my footing, my footing and everything. And um, I just hope you guys come back and continue to support. Don't be shy. Comment below. Um, I'm not sensitive. So if you have feedback, Come on, you know, um, if you have requests, things that you want to see, let me know so that I can try to post that up for you guys too. I have my message. Rona. Rona. Get in the house. Bye, y'all.